Hey guys, Chris here with Okanagan Peak Performance. Got a quick tip for you today on if you have problems with posture, particularly your posture as it relates to sitting, if you're someone that experiences low back pain, or if you'd like to improve your performance in the deadlift in the gym, you'd like to be able to pull more weight, or uh, if you've shied away from using deadlifts because you've been worried about potentially injuring yourself, you know, then this is going to be a great exercise for you guys to uh, incorporate into your day-to-day -day and as well into your workout routines. And so what this tip involves is that, you know, as it relates to sitting, if you think, we've talked a little bit before about how sitting is something that uh, it seems to impair our abilities to maintain good hip pelvic control. You know, we start with good intentions at the start of a class or a day at work. And then during the day, we end up, you know, slouching and sliding out. And we get that posterior tilt of the pelvis and the hips. And that seems to undo, you know, our ability to maintain good lumbar or low back control. And we have problems then as a result. So, you know, with today's tip, what you would do is you're sitting in your chair. And you're going to have your feet a little bit wider than hip width. I'll, I'll turn and face the other way in a second here. And you have to scooch forward kind of the edge. So just, you know, a little bit of your hamstring, glutes and hips are on the bench, but you're primarily off the edge. Start trying to think of sitting as tall as you can, chest is up, with overhand grip, grab the front edge of your chair, and you're pushing through your heels as you're pulling with your arms. Good, and then relax. And you might hold for five, six seconds, and then repeat. You have to think the two things at the same time, driving the heels down while pulling with the arms and pushing the chest. So I'll do that one again. Drive the heels, pull with the arms. And what that does, and you'll notice when you try it out yourselves, is that it helps to lengthen the spine and also set that nice natural posture for ourselves. So again, I'll be hip width, maybe a little bit wider, heels driving into the floor, grab with the hands, push the heels as you pull with the hands, hold for five, six, and then relax. And so how this ties in with your workouts on your deadlifting day in particular, is that if you think if you were doing a sumo deadlift or any kind of a wide stance and you came down, to address the bar. As soon as your hands are on the bar, start pushing through your heels and take out the slack of your arms as you push your chest tall. This helps to preload the hamstrings, the glutes, and the low back. That extra stability under the preload now helps to protect and make your low back feel a little bit more secure. And as well, it lengthens the spine. And anytime we have a nice, long, stable spine, we're more likely to uh, be resistant to injury, and we're also going to perform a lot better. So give this tip, uh, you know, a bit of a test during your day to day. So whether it's at work, when you're at the desk or at school, or if you're driving, you know, when you have a chance to take a break, test it out. You don't need to change any of the gear. You don't need extra equipment. It only takes a few seconds to do, but it's going to help restore good alignment and it's helped stabilize, lengthen that spine and improve your performance on your deadlifts. This is Chris with Okanagan Peak Performance.com.